April here. And I am here, I have a Fully Market haul. Um, I have a lot of different things that I got. All different price points. I don't even really remember everything, but all right. So these were oddly enough, I think they were two for a dollar. I got a couple things from there. I actually have one from my husband that I have to give him. I haven't looked this up. I thought this was really cool though. It is civil, S-I-V-E-L. I think this is pewter. Oh, that's a cool clasp here. It was so cheap that I just thought it was really a pretty cool piece. The seagulls for 50 cents. 50 cents is hard to, hard to pass up. This would have been along those lines, like at the most $3. Hello, Floor. Uh, but these I bought for the beads because I just recently went to a bead shop and beads are expensive, especially natural stones. And these have like, these beautiful amethysts and some different like agates. And I just thought this was a really beautiful stone. And then I think this was $2 or two for five. That doesn't make sense. Three for five. It's $2 or three for five. <clears throat> like that would have been more money. Um. So this is older. You can see it's got the Hello Miss Carmen. Has the Rolo clasp here. And it has these beautiful adventuring beads. You can see the, the copper. And these different stations in it. It's kind of longer. It's really a beautiful beaded necklace, um, some of the, you can see some of the finishes coming off, but it's still such a beautiful necklace. And then this, I've never really seen one quite like this. So it's got a spring ring clasp and multi-strand gold tone. And then these are glass with the Millie Fiori. Stations. And uh, I don't know if this is like um, Venice or Murano. It looks like it's kind of almost made to look like agate. It's not like it's. I've just never seen one like this. And it is glass and it's definitely vintage. Probably vintage 70s, I would think, with the spring ring clasp, just, it's my guess. So I think those were three for five. And then I got these with that as well. Yeah, they're neat, right? I love them. So these, must have been on a necklace or something. These are beautiful wedding cake beads with the adventuring too that's copper. That's what makes those shiny things. And the little roses. And then they came with earrings also. So 
so these beads are like not cheap beads they're not the like nicest wedding cake beads that I've ever seen but they are nice and um I think the earrings maybe would be best to like do something with these instead like reimagine those so those were definitely I thought worth the um I don't know how much is two for five I don't or three for five I don't know I don't do math well. Can you guys help me math? Pretty terrible at mathing. Hmm. Yeah, I got some random stuff too. Yeah, well, it's like a yellow. It's coming off as green, but it's, it's more of a yellow. I also got this at a yard sale recently. It's like a frame with this really beautiful um, velvet on top of it. So this is an embellishment. There's two of these. And I thought they would be great to put on something. Looks like it's hand stitched onto this. And it's this beautiful color. So I got two of those, those were two for five. I gave this lady $5 for everything and this was one of the pieces. Um, oh, I thought this was Brighton, but maybe this doesn't have the B on it. Definitely looks like Brighton though. And it has the harp, there's no B on the harp, but it's a really pretty, I love roses. I have a thing for, for roses. You guys can see I went outside today. So I actually have my wedding bands on, my wedding rings on and my mother's ring. Um, so it was $3, but either way, I think it's really nice. It does look like it's marked China, but I don't see anything else. I thought it was brain. I think it might not be, but it's still very nice. These are domed. They are so cool. Is this marked at all? Not marked. So there's only two of these that are like shaped like that. But then this one has the um, glass that looks like lapis. So there's three of those. And then these are like coins. And then three that have this. These are um, Hubble, Hubble glass that looks like turquoise. And then these look like lapis. So it's just a really, really unique. charm bracelet. I thought that was really cool. And I knew the girl that was selling those, so she charged me $5 for everything I got. This was 50 cents. I gotta go give that to my husband. It's Sir Walter Raleigh. And it is a built 1978 Bergamot Brass Works. That's really Beautiful how it holds that on and talks about Louisville, Kentucky and the trademark. And there's a patent. This is really pretty. So he got that. It was 50 cents. I had like three things. So it was like, well, just get that and I'll pay for it. Here was the other, Let's see, so pretty. I thought this might be um, 800 silver filigree. I don't know if it is or not. 
is very pretty. It's not marked at all, but a lot of the filigree is not. Oh yeah, I think this was one of the other ones that was like 50 cents. I bought it for this because I was kind of hoping I could use this clasp for this necklace to repair it. Because I need a big, a big one for this necklace because I want to be able to wear it and uh, I haven't been able to. And I was gonna put, it had a glass toggle class to it. And um, I just, I haven't been able to find anything else to go with it. And I, I love this necklace. So um, I got this from an estate sale a long time ago. And I just haven't found the right thing to repair it with yet. And I think this clasp which is 925, it's marked there, will be the perfect thing. And then I can repurpose um, the rest of it. Sometimes you gotta wait until the thing comes along that you need. So there's a couple um, rhinestones missing in here, three, so not too many. This is a celluloid sparkler um, bangle, and I love these. These are not super cheap, so um, if you find them, a lot of times they're not super cheap because they're also very collectible, So, but they need to get fixed. And then this... I think is older. Little stamens are. Underneath. There we go. This is glass. <laughs> this is just a little glass flower that is all wired together. It's purple. But it's older and it's like in such good condition. There's no chips or cracks that I can see either, which is kind of crazy for this. And it's just got this little safety pin on it. So I thought that was just so cool. That was also in the, what was it? Three for five. This was eight. I almost didn't get it because I was kind of running out of money, but is it what? Four strands, graduated glass and faux pearl. There we go. It's not marked. And I don't know the name of these beads. They are totally glass beads except for the pearls and it is that like you see where they have inclusions and set in them hand knotted in between so like this is so pretty um you know it'd be hard for them to make this stuff again like it would be so expensive to buy something like this. And this is in really good condition too. So this is not a cheap costume piece. It's just so pretty. Definitely think it was worth $8 and there's no taxes, so. Uh, this, I love. These are, um, not worth like like i've seen i think reasonable prices between 60 and 100 i paid 20 dollars for this it's gold filled 
and it has these little balls and that's how you put it on and it did fit me I just I think I have to pull these out a tiny bit because like this one's a little bent to the side and it should be a little straight but these are Victorian bypass bracelets and it's in really good condition for its age show you guys up a little closer and it's got that beautiful rolled gold look and not well rolled gold gold filled it's just really nice and I saw it and I really wanted it so that was 20 this I asked if I could keep the case too and he said I don't see why not and I said Thank you, because this case is old and it's leather. I don't know what it was for. <laughs> like, I just thought it was cool. And actually, I have to try to tighten up this one. tip top here there we go because this one was out I think this is 1920s here's the clasp and this is a very popular chain for them um, it has a little bit of wear on the chain but it's not bad and these are crystals, citrine colored crystals. This one's backwards, there we go. And it's got the three dangles on there. So I do think this is 1920s 1930s just based on my knowledge of jewelry and clasps and dating and this is absolutely gorgeous uh like i said this one was out but i knew it was still in there and it was an easy fix and i would have bought it even so because i could have done something else with it but i'm ecstatic that it was still there um, about a couple of things and I, I paid them like $11 for this. I think this one's also needs to, they're just very precariously put in this bezel setting. So definitely something that needs to get tightened around it. I'll probably just take the pliers and tighten them all, but it's so pretty. It's one of my favorite things I got them, the bypass bracelet. And this is good for pictures too. Alright. What else is in my bag of goodies, guys? Oh, I'm gonna drop something. Oh, this was part of the one that I gave the lady $5 for. These are these muddled glass beads. Like lamp work applied. You can see them. They're so pretty. They have a little bit of adventuring on them as well. And these are all glass beads too very delicate and beautiful and I love glass beads so I think this three dollars this one I only pick these up when they're really like big like this this one's nice and fat and round 
So the small ones you come across all the time. These big ones you do not. This is gold filled. I just bought a couple things, so I bought it for scrap because it doesn't have anything on it. Yeah. So this, there's a tiny crack in there, but this is a beautiful cameo, guys. It's on set. But like, look, she's got a little tiara on. That's what the other side looks like. It's very, very pretty. So this beautiful cameo. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. But I love it. And then this, I need to put ketchup on. Because that will clean up. It has this really cool photograph. Like, it won't be perfect, but I can get the green part off. And then this is what the back looks like. So I think this is older as well. Like 1910s or so. That's what it looks like to me. 1900, 1910s. The pin is really long. But doesn't have a tube hinge. So that's why I think like 1900, 1910. So I think that's very cool. I have some work to do there. I got this for crafting. These are those little fans that um, fold up. Fold up and knot. So I got that for crafting. I got this one for crafting as well. It's one of those mustard, seed, mustard seeds. Pendants. Um, this I thought um, this is definitely nine mark nine two five the clasp itself. I think this might be nine two five. I don't know what. This feels like glass, and then it's got one of those um, silver dipped leaves on it. And these also look like sterling. So I'm going to have to test the chain itself. I think it might be sterling. It's pretty cool. Regardless, it's a really cool necklace. So gonna test it. I'm trying to find the other one of these. Um, this was the other one where um, my friend charged me five dollars. This is nine two five. I think it's kind of cool because it was hers when she was younger. Um, it's marked somewhere on here. I don't know when. She said she had this in the, like 70s or 80s. She said it was hers when she was little. And so I think it's really cool that it's mine now. And it's got a really neat shape. Oh, I just saw the mark. It's right there. 925. So that's cool to have something that was your friend's when she was a kid. So I love that. It's, you know, decently heavy. I love it. This I got for crafting. This is Royce, New York. It's like hollow. It's got Niagara Falls. And same with this. This is this is gem souvenir, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna bring you guys closer in to see this one. And it's a little book. 
and I, I will have to re-glue it. I think it says the needles. Something castle. Ah. Uh, Osborne House, the castle. Charm Souvenir. Isle of Wight, picturesque. It's so cool. So it's just brass, but I'm gonna glue those back in there. I don't know where Isle of Wight is. I ain't got that because I love these. And I have a few I've been working to do something with. And then I love this combination. So what is this? This is marked 925 M. And I just, I love the combination of amethyst and topaz. This one will be for sale because it's too small for me, and uh, I'm never going to grow into that. Look if it's my pinky. Let's see what size it is. It's a six, so it's a normal person size, but I am not a size six, unfortunately. Do I have a penny in here? Where the heck did that come from? Oh no. It's this weird thing. I think it is a penny, but like one of those domed pennies? I don't know. Um, I thought this is real pearl. And they're beautiful. They're like those peacock pearls. I thought this would have been sterling, but it, it's not. I was kind of surprised. So. But it's still pretty. I love those. And then these, I believe. I believe they say Kirk's Folly. Yeah, they do. Because I saw this and I was like, oh, yeah, those definitely looks like, look like Kirk's Folly earrings. Um, and then I saw on the plastic that it was marked. They're like the little cherubs. These ones will be for sale, too. I don't collect Kirk's Folly as much as I know some people do, so... Very nice bezel set, Aurora Borealis, all of, all of that stuff. This was $5. This is marked on the inside. 925. Um, and they're interchangeable. And all there is, so you can have either white or this beautiful purple or this brown color. Oop. Um, and there's two of those, and it's from a jeweler's fine jewelry. Which, more and more, you see sterling silver at places like K's and um, stuff like that, as opposed to gold, which is kind of funny. I have fine jewelers. And there's, like, little diamonds on top, too. I 
I have a feeling those are real diamonds, to tell you the truth, at the top of these little interchangeable guys. Probably won't keep these either. And then these were $10 each. I think she might have given me a little bit of a deal on them. I don't... Oh! I didn't think I got this. Oh, I think she charged me... Because they were supposed to be $10 each. I think she charged me $35. And I said, okay. That's a good thing because Jimmy was disappointed when I almost didn't get that. When I told him I didn't get this. She said this wasn't marked. But I think... I think it does say something up here. He thought this was pretty cool, which always makes me want to get it. It's like a little chair, sterling silver chair brooch. I have a spoon one too. I got a spoon brooch not too long ago. So I just, I like the random weird brooches. I don't know. I thought this was beautiful. I don't know if they do sometimes set um, diamonds and sterling silver is um, marked sterling silver and then it has Vantel pearls. It's marked on the thing too. And it's, it's so beautiful. I mean, regardless of anything, they're, they're gorgeous. So I got that and this, I loved this. This is Mark Sterling on the back here. So some of these ball chains, believe it or not, are, are sterling. And then it's marked JCM925 China, which JCM is uh, K's or something like that. And I love, I love these roses. You guys know that. I have to find, I can't find what I did with my one rose ring that I got a little while ago, but I want to put all my like whimsical stuff together. And then I've never seen this. This is Lennox and it is marked Sterling here. And it's a pendant as well. And it's a cameo. It's a Lennox cameo in really good condition. It's beautiful. And so this was, I don't know, less than $10. So I got the four things for 35. This lady is really nice. Um, my friend Miss shops a lot and I have all bought some really cool stuff from her. And she's very, very nice. She's also the one that I've gotten um, stuff from at the fair. Um, and then I bought this huge bag of beads I'll show you what for these are pretty beads too so these are glass beads they're also that like two two toned and stuff they're just really pretty um I guess I glass beads they're not cheap this I think I can do something easily with. Um, the clasp here is gone. Would it look like this? Actually, I don't know. I thought this was one that was a twisty. It goes on to here. So I'll need to restring this or something. Do something with it. But I think this is, I think this might be Catalan, like a milk-based type Bakelite, um, milk protein, um, old, like from the Art Deco time frame, 20s, 30s, 40s. 
something like that. Don't quote me on it. Um, I don't think we have as many of those here in the U.S. Um, what was the other one? There's these ones, the flapper, um, the tassels off. But these beads are so nice. They're um, cut. And then there's some milk glass in here. This is plastic. Um, but these are all milk glass, which somebody recently bought some milk glass from me. I think she makes things with them, which I'm sure they turn out beautiful. These are glass. Are what I saw and why I wanted these. These I think are check. I don't know if these are steel cut. Let me see if they're magnetic. No, they're probably not then. But these have these beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Let me bring you in. Millie Fiore beads. And they're really nice. So I think they're either probably Czech or um, Venetian or Murano glass beads. They're very nice with the red Czech beads. So I love those. Some other random parts and pieces in here. These are cool, I could totally crap with those. Oh, it's raining. It was really nice out most of the day until a little while ago. So that, I think I paid $11 for that. The crystal necklace the, that was in this case. Um, and then there's this other, one more thing. Look at these. Sometimes I just, end, you end up with a theme, you know, like a color theme. Look at that. these beautiful blue and then it's like a purple theme going on here and roses I really do love this you don't find the jewelry that's shaped this this way that often at least I don't This could fit too, look at this. Ha. Ha. Did you guys ever notice that? Oh, and the peacock pearls. They fit both of those. Cool. Oh, I forgot I have a, one more, one more thing. All right, so pretty, right? I just, I love that stuff. I don't remember how much I paid this lady. Mm, I think some of these were five dollars each, and I think these, this was five dollars. I think this is handmade. That might be artist. Um, it does actually fit me too. It's really cool with the frosted glass. Um, 
This is not like one of those ones that you just find at Pier 1. It's one of those, those artist main ones that are special. And then I loved this one too. I don't know if this is an amethyst. This is definitely a real stone. This might be an amethyst, a cushion cut. I feel like it might, there's no markings. Um, it's really pretty. Like I said, I'm pretty sure this was five or I think it was five and the other one was five. And then these were two for five or something like that. Um, so this is older, it's enamel and the enamel is in really good condition. So this is like Art Deco time frame. Some of these can be worth um, decent money. And then this I have to cut off this. If you guys have watched, I've been doing some shorts with like stacks of the day, which I really like using old and new. I should, I should mix them up actually too. The, I hate these, uh, these, um, stickers because they're so, so hard to get off. I'm just gonna. And then there's residue on there. But this is a Kate Spade and it's in really good condition. Kate Spade, New York. So I didn't see anything missing here. I think that looks cute together actually. I love Kate Spade. Um, some of her jewelry is, is pretty nice condition, so it was all of that, and then I also got this. This was from the one um, gentleman, so you guys can see. It's really nice. She said she put her brooches on it, which I can see why. The only thing I can see really is here. The beading on this is so pretty. Um, there's a little bit of oxidation here, but really not that bad. This is an older bag and it'll fit a phone, which, um, sometimes that's why they don't sell this too. I might just take that off and soak it in like vinegar. Um, that'll clean it up or catch up for here. But this is that really beautiful, soft, vintage velvet. Um, hand stitched. And it's just, it's so pretty. There's no tag or anything inside of this. So I just thought that was extremely lovely with the beaded flowers. So I spent a lot of money today, but I think I got some really great things. Um, I hope you guys agree. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Tell me what your favorite was because I always like to know. Um, and I always like to know, is there something that you thought that was too expensive or you wouldn't have bought? I like to know that too. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.